host Jesse B with Pop to Trunk Toys, and today we are featuring another TFC combiner from the Satan. We have Lucifer. Now, Lucifer is the fourth, fourth TFC release for the Terracon group. Also known, this is Cutthroat, everybody's favorite harpy. This is really cool, long awaited. We got Satan up here on the, on the top. Take a look at this box real fast. We got the SO4 Lucifer. Um, got him in bird mode right here. Transformer, uh, the robot robot mode right there. It says robot monster combined mode. TFC logo on the bottom. Ages 15 plus. You got the Satan logo and Lucifer in robot mode right there. You got all the parts right there. You got the, the bird, the robot, and the arm mode. And on the back, just another picture of him in robot mode. Very cool. And on this side, you got the bird. And on the bottom, TFC stuff. All right, let's get this open. Okay, so this package looks like you don't need a handy dandy. We're just gonna pop this tab, pull open right here. And like always, I do appreciate these. You get that nice premium packaging. Very nice. Oops. Something fell out. Okay, like always, you got the tech spec and instruction booklet. Very cool. Since the gun fell out, this is the gun. Very cool. Awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. Take the covering off. And you have them inside. Looks like he's in robot mode. You got a piece right here. I'm not sure what this is yet. Oh, looks like some peg covers or something. And then you would pop this off and reveal the bot inside. All right, let me get them out. Be right back. All righty, folks, and we're back. And we have Cutthroat here, suited, booted, ready to rock and roll. And I gotta say, folks, this is another knockout piece here for the Satan Combiner. I do appreciate uh, what TFC is doing here for the Abominus. Uh, I haven't owned any of the ones that, that was made before or even had like Combiner Wars or nothing like that Abominus. So I am very excited to have this in my hand and can't wait for the hunger. First off, you got the tech spec that did come inside. And this is what the back looks like, you know, see all this stuff. You got the instruction booklet here that seems nice and colorful. They color what you need to move and show you what to do. So this is yet to be seen. And like I said earlier, you get the, the peg covers. I can see where you would probably need some of those, like some right here. Just cover those up with the peg, which is very nice. One of the cool features that I noticed right off the back is I was kind of noticing like like how the paint looks a little bit dull yet they actually painted it better than you see here the the claws are not even uh painted or nothing but you can see that the item is not like the picture and mine comes painted and which i do appreciate that because it would have been a little bit dull if it was just totally yellow but they did try to help that out so that makes it a lot better thank you tfc did come with this amazing looking cannon on him. Check that out. Very cool. Got double barrel. This is a grenade launcher. Don't know. Let's check it out. And just slips right in. And you can close the, the hand up. And wrap around it. Very cool though. Let's take a closer look. And you can see his face, <clears throat> his eyes, nice and red. Does got the, the light piping in the back. You can see the eyes glow a little bit. Very cool, a lot of break up here for the yellow and green and the purples and the chrome that's in there. Very nicely done. And you got the see-through plastics in the back. You got the claws on the wings. Everything kind of folds up, or you can have it panned out, whatever you like. Very cool. 
All right, let's go for some articulation really quickly. So the head is on a, a ball peg, so you can get the nice, you know, so-so looks. You can spin it around if you like. Give you a good amount, or good up, uh, good down. The shoulder will rotate. You can move the wings around. Um, still rotated around. Got to do some opening up and whatnot. The shoulder will go up. Get you a nice uh, range there. Probably for uh, transformation and combined mode and whatnot, but it gives you a lot, so that's very good. And then shoulder out to here. Very cool. There is a bicep swivel. He has a double hinged elbow, but it's a little bit hindered because of the, there's a lump right here and it kind of knocks against, or his forearm kind of blocks it a little bit. The wrist uh, is on a swivel here. And then it's, the fingers are hinged on a single pin with the, you know, a pointing, you can get a pointing, you can close it up if you like. Very cool. There is a waist swivel in here and an ab crunch. You get two clicks, ab crunch. Very nice. The hip skirts are uh, movable. You just turn them out of the way. Front kick, get you up to there. You can hear the ratchets inside, a little bit soft. <clears throat> okay. Rotate that one to the back. And then <clears throat> get you out for the booyah kick. Nice ratchets. Good knee ratchets can get you a nice good bend. Very nice. <clears throat> then on the toes here, it's like one big piece because the leg wraps around and, and like folds under um, and forms the foot. But you do get an ankle rocker and a toe tilt. Very nice. And that would be the heel split. Okay. So it does look and holds very well. Let's get some, uh, let's get some size comparisons. We'll be right back. Alrighty folks. And let's do a couple size comparisons really quickly. Here he is next to Prowl. And you can see that he's slightly bigger than the Autobot car, which is kind of like old school masterpiece scaling, um, which is still very well done. I mean, the cars are excellent sizes and whatnot. So that's good. Harry is next to a fellow team member. We've got Sinner Twin. Okay. They look like they're slightly, there's, uh, the scale is looking very good with them. They're fitting in right in really, really well. Here he is next to, just because I got him on hand still. We got Tigertron from Beast Wars, the MP Tigertron. Okay. And just because I still got him on hand, we have the Black Agent Ravage from Beast Wars. And here he is next to another combiner. Just way towering over him. Seems to be one huge and hell of a combiner that predicate from Kang's Toys. All right, that's it for my size comparisons. Let's get him transformed. We'll be right back. All righty, folks, and we're back. And we got Cutthroat here in his alt mode. And I want to say this thing looks fantastic. Now, I did appreciate that, you know, with this one, out of all... Uh, four of them now that I have now this one is the most fun for me personally um, transformation is kind of easy you know uh, there's a lot of little tight maneuvers and stuff like that but you know uh, this one has the least of them and it doesn't feel like it wants to break so <laughs> I, I do appreciate the fact that this one is a uh, fun transformation and very easy to get back and forth so that is uh, one thing that I did find out very cool looking as we take a look here you know, the bird's head here has the light piping for the eyes. The claws right here have two points of articulation and can swivel, which is very nice. And then you get right here and then the actual claw itself will bend. Very cool. The wing is quite articulated. Take a quite closer look here. 
you got a swiveling part right here. You got this nice translucent that swivels as well. You got this piece that will flap on a double hinge here. And then this has a, a, a swivel hinge here and then this part so that it can move up or you know you could flare it out a little bit get it you know high rise up whatever you like and also this will swivel as one large wing let's take a look at the nice green yellows purples translucents in there very cool looking very nice stylized but awesome looking cutthroat here the leg uh, is on, on a ball ball joint here can give you the, um, the motion of sw swiveling around and can bring it out some if you like it does swing outwards which gives it a nice uh, pos posability for the leg it is on a double joint hinge gets you a nice bend at the ankle it does swivel which is very cool and will hinge too as well uh, it's very tight I don't want to do too much but it does swivel uh, th there's a heel spur here for the, the claw the foot is hinged right here at the, the front of the foot <laughs> and then you also have an ankle rocker which is very nice and then the claws will move too as well so articulation is very well done on this at the tail it will wiggle and go up and down and will come down bend right here and also there's a bend right here so nice articulation for the feathers you got this will fold up this will swivel right here very cool looking alt mode here and for the beak I don't know if this is supposed to be but this slides out for the beak to make I guess easier uh, to grab the lower jaw the, uh, the jaw does articulate for the head it will move up or move down. There's a double hinge in here. You see there's a hinge right here and then like a ball ball joint, which gives it, you know, can, can give you the so-so looks or just give you great range of posability. Very nicely done. <clears throat> As we go, um, these little uh, kneecaps or claws or whatever they are, they do articulate as well. Very nicely done. Nice alt mode here. Let's get them some size comparisons really fast. Get this out of the way. All right. First up, I got it. Since I have them still around, I got Cheetor from Beast Wars. Not same continuity, but you know, another beast form. Looking good. Okay. Then we got a fellow TFC uh, Seacon here. We got Overbite. And you can see that they match up pretty well. Very cool. And then I do have Streetwise from X Transbox. You just see what the car looks like next to that giant bird there. Awesome. All right, that's it for my size comparisons. Let's get them in limb mode. We'll be right back. All righty, folks, and we're back here for the third and final limb mode. And I got to say that looks great, folks. I want to, you know, I'm not really used to cutthroat being an arm. You know, I'm from the G1 era where he was on the foot. But, you know, I always might have thought that he was a little bit small for the, for the arm mode or, you know, for the leg, should I say. And I would think that the, the arm would actually be a more better position for him, which is very cool. As you can see here, it's looking nice and folded. Everything's tucked pretty good. Looking very cool. The hand is on here, which is it got the swivel. Of course, it has the ball joints and um, the two pins for the thumb here. And, uh, here it has uh, three points of articulation also. They're, they're bendable sideways. We got the claw points, which is very good for Abominus, being a, a beast. Got ratchets at the wrist. Very good for like holding guns and whatnot. And it swivels back and forth.
looking very fantastic. Let me show you what it looks like with the other parts really fast. Okay, let's put it to the side right here. Get the arm balanced. There you go. All right, let's take a look at it with the other parts real quick. We have Ripper Snapper, which is the other arm. Looks pretty good. We got Block coming in. And we have Center Twin. I gotta say, folks, I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all formed and see what the final middle piece of hunger looks like. But let's do some Scramble City. We'll be right back. Alrighty folks, and we're back. Are you ready for this? I present to you the Scramble City Piranacon mixed with the Terracons. Check it out. <laughs> just a little bit of fun here, you know, as we're waiting for hunger. Just want to take a quick look at the gun here, you know, uh, with all the different guns combined. This is um, Cutthroat's new gun added on to the other features here. We got blots. We have uh, Ripper Snappers and Center Twins. Looking pretty good. You can see that held just fine as he holds it really good. I think the, uh, the ratchets in the, in the wrist help a lot. Very cool, but this could be just a little taste of what we're gonna see. If you have any other TFCs out there, I'm not sure if they would work, but I know that they work with the Piranacon set, so awesome. Well, everybody, this will start to conclude my video. If you haven't yet, hit please hit the like and subscribe. And this will be Jesse B signing off till next time. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.